Miami is expensive, okay? Kick that travel agent to the curb. You don't need her. Be your own travel agent. Welcome to the life of luxury. Welcome to the life of luxury. I know you gon' love what you see. I know you gon' love what you see. Go on here, hit subscribe. Go on here, hit subscribe. Go on here, hit that like. Go on here, hit that like. Hi guys, my name is Cherie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And if you're true here and this and you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And today we're gonna be talking about all things travel girl. I'm so excited to share this with you. This is my how to plan a solo trip slash a girl's trip. So a lot of the things I'm gonna be sharing today, you can apply to both. So if you're a traveling girl or if you wanna be a traveling girl, very soon keep on watching and make sure you grab a pen and paper and take notes girl because this is going to be a good one okay okay so i have some notes here so if you see me looking down i'm basically looking down in my notes okay so the first thing that i want to suggest so you don't have to do this in any specific order or any specific way or use any of the specific sites that i suggest but this is what I've been doing. I have been traveling, so a little background. I have been traveling for, who shall, over 15 years. So I'm 27. I've pretty much been traveling all of my life. My mom was a traveling girly and she took me along with her on a lot of her trips. So I'm pretty well versed and pretty knowledgeable about the things that go into planning a trip and executing a successful trip. So that's why I'm here today to tell you guys what I know and hopefully you guys will have successful and safe trips as well. Okay, so the first thing I suggest doing is choose your destination. So where do you want to go? Where do you want to visit? Do you have a list? Do you have a bucket list? If you don't, girl, definitely start there. Start you a destination, bucket list, travel list, whatever you want to call it. List out some places you want to visit because having like a list of places you want to go, like, you know, where your heart desires to go, you can mark those off. And as you mark off the places that you really, really, really want to go to, you'll learn so much from those trips. You'll experience so much and you'll realize like, wow, this was so easy to do. Like I need to do this more often. I need to travel more often. So that's the goal of this video, okay? I want you to be comfortable with planning your own trips, girl. Kick that travel agent to the curb. You don't need her. Be your own travel agent. So make a list of destinations. Decide on what type of trip that you want it to be. Do you want it to be a girl's trip? Do you want it to be a solo trip? Do you want it to be a vacation? Sometimes the location isn't suitable for all of the above. So if you want it to be a vacation, you may not want to go to, let's just say, Orlando. Because Orlando is more so for kids. It has a lot of like theme parks and things like that. Now, if that's, the, that, if that's your thing, if you wanna take a vacation and go to like a lot of theme parks and things like that, then that would be perfect. Um, but maybe you don't wanna do all of that. Maybe you wanna go on a vacation and sit by the beach and chill and sit on the balcony and go sip wine and just be grown and sexy. You might wanna go somewhere like West Palm Beach. That's more of a chill, sexy type of vibe. But we'll get into what all you can do when you get there a little bit later in this video. Uh, consider your budget. These are all like step one. So choose your place. What type of trip is it gonna be? What is your budget? Is it a vacation? Is your man paying for everything? Cool. Is it a girl's trip and you need to consider all of the ladies going and their budgets? Keep that in mind when you're planning a trip. You may not want to go to LA. That might be a little too pricey. You might not want to go to Costa Rica. You may want to stick with somewhere like New Orleans or, you know, something like that. A little bit more low key um, and a little bit more cost effective. You definitely not going to want to go to Miami if you have girls on a budget because <laughs> Miami is expensive, okay? Now, number two, set a budget. So what is your budget for your trip? You need to know that in advance. So if this is gonna be a budget-friendly trip, remember that. Think about, think about what your budget is gonna be. I don't wanna go, like for example, 
You might say, I don't wanna go on this trip and spend over $10,000. I want it to be a trip under $10,000. Okay, so that is gonna tell you everything you need to know about where you are gonna go. You're not gonna to go to Dubai for less than $10,000, I'm sorry. Because when you include everything, transportation, flight, hotel, food, drinks, entertainment, it's gonna be 10K or more. Keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, so yeah, set a budget, determine what you're willing to spend. So are you willing to spend that 10K or are you willing to spend 1K? If you're more so willing to spend 1K, you may want to stick with somewhere different than let's just say Miami because a hotel in Miami is probably going to be 1K, okay? <laughs> you might want to go somewhere like Atlanta. If you're not from Atlanta and you want to take a quick trip by yourself and just go have some fun and not spend a lot of money, Atlanta might be a really good place to go. New Orleans is a really good place to go. Um, let's see what else is on my list of places. Tennessee would be a great place to go. Chattanooga, Nashville, really, really fun places to go. You may want to go somewhere like Destin, Florida, instead of to Miami, Florida, or Orlando, because those are more expensive places. Destin is a little bit more cost effective. Okay, so um, transport, determine your budget for your transportation, your food, and your shopping. And be realistic when you're doing this, okay? So, and also have funds for unexpected expenses too. So, um, unexpected expenses could be anything like having paying more for uber than you thought it was going to be or your hotel charges a deposit that is an additional three hundred dollars on top of what you already plan to spend for the trip and now that three hundred dollars you'll get it back at the end of your trip but you don't have it as spending money on your trip go ahead and plan things like that you know set aside like an extra thousand dollars extra five hundred dollars for the trip okay um for as far as like activities, food, shopping, transportation, go ahead and plan those things out in advance. That's what I would suggest doing so that you know what the prices look like. So if you know you're gonna be taking taxis the whole time you're in New York, what is the average taxi cost? What is the average Uber cost? If you know that you are going to go to New Orleans and you know you wanna take the trolley, um, I forgot what it's called, but I think it is called the trolley. Know how much that costs. If you go to New York and you wanna get around and go from one side of New York to the other, know, keep in mind that Uber is expensive in New York and so are taxes. You may wanna do subways. So things like that, you wanna go ahead and know in advance. Know what restaurants you wanna try, start a list. What I do, every time I go somewhere, I make a list of what I wanna eat when I'm there and like of the actual restaurants. So if it's a four day trip, I might go ahead and plan for two of those nights to be really bougie dinners and two nights to be either takeout or something really chill so that I'm saving my coins. I might wanna do one bougie brunch while I'm there and then the rest of them be hotel food. Or I might wanna plan to go grocery shopping if we're gonna be there for seven days and go ahead and have food to cook like five of those days and then plan to eat out for two of those days. So set a budget, whatever fits in your budget is what you go with. Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to be bougie and eat at a steakhouse every night. It's not really necessary. Even if it is a vacation and your man is paying for everything, it's not really necessary, girl. Come on now. Um, anyway, so yeah, choose your destination, set a budget, decide on the dates that you wanna go. So when it comes to deciding on the dates, choose dates that work for you and your schedule if it's a solo date, but also keep in mind if you're going with girls to, do, to choose dates that are, you know, conducive to their lifestyle as well and their personal schedule also. Usually people are pretty good about, like when I travel with people, we're really good about saying like, hey, these are the days, what do you think? But some people are just like, no, I know, and you can't really accommodate them. They might just not need to go, okay? So make sure it works with the dates because if, let me tell you what'll happen. If you do do a girl's trip or a group trip and you choose dates that people are unsure about, what's gonna happen is at the last minute, they're gonna step 
out or they're gonna drop out of going on the trip and they're gonna say well i actually do have to work i knew i was probably gonna have to work but i actually do have to work so i can't go and so to just relieve all of that pressure and to solve that problem in advance go ahead and choose days that work so for example i work a full-time job so if I do want to go on a quick trip, it's probably not going to be a Wednesday to a Friday or a Monday to a Thursday. It's more than likely going to be a Friday to a Sunday. So I keep that in mind when I plan trips and when I am planning trips that are going to include other people, I ask them if that works for them. For example, my cousin is a traveling nurse or just a nurse, depending on what she wants to do um, for that season. And if she is nursing, she typically is gonna work in the evening shifts because she said that nurses make more money in the evenings and that's cool. She also said that nurses make more money on the weekends and that's cool. So, and on holidays. So I might say, oh, I want my cousin to go with me for this weekend trip for Thanksgiving, but that's when she is planning to work because she would prefer to work on a holiday or on a weekend at night. So if you're gonna be, you know, going with someone else, try to plan it in advance give them like like two or three months at minimum advance notice and then also make sure it works with your schedule so that you won't have to cancel at the last minute um, also when you're choosing those dates consider the weather and the tourist seasons so for example if you want to go to florida you may not want to go during hurricane season it's always granted it's always you know, raining in Florida on and off showers, but you might not want to go during hurricane season because people people that live there, they know like, okay, this is hurricane season. We're probably not even going to open for the next couple months. You know, we may not even have our balconies open because we don't want our umbrellas to fly away. So you might have your heart set on going to this rooftop restaurant and they're like, yeah, no, our rooftops aren't open. So try to plan your days according to the weather, especially if you're going to a colder region like New York might not want to go during february you might want to wait and go during june you know um yeah even in la like la doesn't really get or california doesn't really get cold like winter cold but if you do go in the fall or winter months it is going to be really chilly at night even in the spring and summer it can get a little chilly at night so keep that in mind also during tourist seasons so for example like going to orlando i keep using it as an example but you know a lot of people go to orlando um so for example going to orlando if you want to go to like a certain theme park there or even atlanta like we have six flags six flags in atlanta isn't open year round and i don't think all of the theme parks in orlando are open year round either even like you know, water parks, they close during winter months. Even if it's not super cold and you don't expect it to be freezing while you're there, they might still not be open because their tourist season ends at a certain time. So keep that in mind. Um, number four, I, I'm not really going, I'm not really saying numbers, but number four. <laughs> so number one was choose the destination. Number two was set a budget. Number three was decide on the dates. And number four is research and plan your itinerary. So going back to the weather thing and the transportation and activities and food thing, you wanna plan your itineraries in advance and find activities and attractions and landmarks that you would like to do before you go, okay? I cannot stress to you how important it is to figure out what you wanna do before you go. That's why it's really good to have a list of places you wanna go and keep a list like, you know, you might run across something on TikTok and you add it to your list. This is what I do. I have a list for Houston. I have a list for New York. I have a list for LA. I have a list for Vegas, for Miami, for West Palm Beach when I go back there because I love it. I even have a list for Atlanta and I live in Atlanta, okay? Make a list of all of the activities and restaurants and things that you want to go to while you're there so that you're not there trying to figure out what to do. Like, for example, if you say, oh, I want to go to a water park while I'm in Orlando and you get there and you've been there for an hour and you're ready to go and you plan to be there for three hours, but it's just too hot, it's unbearable. You need to have a list of places that are backups so you can say, oh, well, I wanted to go to Disney World while I was here too, or Disneyland, whatever, whichever one's there. 
I wanted to go here too. So let's go with the backup instead of just staying out here at this hot theme park all day. Um, let me see if I can come up with another example. Um, for example, if you're moving to Atlanta, for not moving, if you're visiting Atlanta, I just did a living in Atlanta video, so kind of still in that mind. Um, so let's just say you're visiting Atlanta and you say, oh, I want to go to White Waters, which is Six Flags version of like a water park. Um, and you get there and you're like, oh, it's so hot. I don't really want to be out here all day at this water park. I want to do something else. Then you should probably have a list to refer to like, oh, let's go to Dave and Buster's so that we're not in the heat, but we're still having fun and drinking and eating and whatever. So that's just an example. Definitely plan out your itinerary and research in advance. Um, have a list of activities and attractions that you want to visit and go ahead and plan out a rough itinerary. So what I did for my last trip to Vegas, I used ChatGPT to put together a list. Now granted, I already had a list of places I wanted to go to, but that was just based on like TikTok and Instagram and YouTube videos and Google searches. It wasn't really based on the fact that I knew anyone there or anyone gave me any specific recommendations specific to what I would like to do or my budget. So I just was making a list of places to try. So what I did before I went was I got on chat GPT. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I don't have time to explain it. <laughs> but I went on chat GPT and I typed in, give me a budget friendly itinerary for a girl's trip, a girl's weekend trip to Las Vegas. Nevada and it gave me literally what to do on Friday places to literally specific places to go what time of day to go to it Friday Saturday Sunday I think I went on Thursday something like that but pretty much for every day that I was there it gave me where to eat for brunch what time to go check out these landmarks it said to check out this Thing, this activity on this day at this time like let's just say live music you know it might say oh they do live music here at 3 p.m enjoy drinks and lunch at this restaurant and live music at this time and it really was very accurate I pretty much or we pretty much followed that itinerary to a T and it was perfect it told us what rooftops to go to what pools restaurants bars clubs hookah lounge like pretty much everything that we wanted to know chat gpt gave us so i would suggest using chat gpt and if you're gonna search an itinerary on there be very specific very specific so if you want a luxurious shopping vacation itinerary type that in if you want a budget friendly girls weekend trip itinerary type that in if you want a um let's just say a work trip if you're going to a conference somewhere and you want some stuff to do while you're there literally specifically say give me an itinerary that works with my conference hours that are xyz to xyz and make it budget friendly and accommodates large groups of over 10 people like just be very specific and it'll give you a very specific itinerary which will be very valuable to you if you just say give me an itinerary for vegas it doesn't really know what you want or who you are or what you do or you know your interest so be specific okay so that was number four research and plan your itinerary number five is book your flight and your stays I personally use Expedia. I'm an Expedia girl. I have points on there every time I get on there because I'm constantly using it. Even if I'm just booking like a staycation in Atlanta, somewhere I'm not even traveling to, I'm just booking somewhere for in the city, I use Expedia. So the reason why I suggest Expedia is because number one, you get points. So sign up to be a member on their site, you get points every time you book. Number two, you can book your flights and your stays and your transportation, like your rental cars, in advance before you go. Number four, you can book excursions and activities on Expedia as well. And it serves as kind of like a third party, like a buffer. So like, let's just say you book 
a rental car or you book an activity and they never show up or they never you know honor your booking you can go through Expedia and they can help you get your money back versus just paying these people out of pocket so another five number five the reason why i suggest using expedia is because you can do book now pay later which is what i typically do when i book stays because number one i'm very indecisive so if i'm going on a solo trip i might change my mind and i don't want to have to fight with the hotel to get my money back for changing my mind number two same thing with other people other people might change their mind and they may not want to go or not be able to afford to stay in that hotel that you book or whatever the case may be so it's better to do book now pay later so you're not stuck like already have paid for the hotel if anything happens and you're trying to get your money back it's better to do book now pay later which it's basically you book the hotel it reserves your room whatever room you choose at whatever price you choose and then you pay that price for that room at check-in when you get there so if something happens like you have car troubles the same week of your trip and you decide oh i can't go i gotta buy this tire i can't make it on this trip you can just let expedia know you can't make it and they'll cancel it for you and you won't be charged um but if you book it with a hotel they might say well you paid our booking policy says if you cancel the week of you can't get your money back or you only get 50 percent back whatever and you're stuck you've lost your money so you can't argue with their policy if you try to like get your money back with the um bank they might say well that's their policy we talked to them and they said that's their policy and you signed and said you knew so it's just better to do expedia okay but number six pack smart um so just make sure that you pack everything that you need early that's my suggestion. I'm gonna do a whole separate like travel tips video. So I'm not gonna get all the way into the traveling tips, but just make sure you pack smart for the type of trip that you're going on. And if you wanna know more and you want more travel tips, then definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I'll have that travel tips video up for you shortly. Okay, all right y'all. So that's it for this video. Um, I gave y'all like five or six solid, like travel, how to plan a solo slash girls trip tips. And if you have any questions, I'm trying to see, I, don't, I hope I didn't forget anything. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down below in the comment section and feel free to DM me on Instagram. Like I always say, my Instagram handle will be on the screen here somewhere. So yeah, feel free to DM me any questions. I have planned several trips. I'm actually also going to be doing a video letting you guys know like all of the different all of the different places that I've traveled to. Excuse me. I've been talking so much now I'm gassy because I've been talked so long but uh i'm burping but yes so keep an eye out for that video as well so i'm gonna have this video how to plan a trip my travel tips video and a where i've traveled to video so you guys know about all of my different trips i'll pop in some pictures and videos and stuff about all the places i've traveled honey it's it's a lot more than i thought um but yeah keep an eye out for those videos thumbs up this one okay hit the thumbs up it's right there right it's right there down below thumbs it up thank you thank you all and make sure you subscribe before you go okay i love you guys so much thank you for watching all the way to this point and i'll see you in the next video bye safe travels safe travels